Motorsport.com, Fly Racing and Decal Works coming at you. It's Monday, July 26, 5 p.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching on Facebook, on YouTube. Thanks for listening on PulpamexShow.com as well. Really appreciate it. We got lots to talk about when it comes to the, the races tonight. While Shugel has happened, Chase Sexton won his first 450 race of the year. Jeremy Martin became the first two-time winner in the 250 class. So we're going to talk about that. Got some great guests tonight. Speaking of, Chase Sexton will be on. Honda Zone, Chase Sexton will be on. Zach Osborne will be on, the 450 defending 450 motocross champion. Doesn't look like he's going to repeat. And uh, Osborne will be on tonight as well. He's been at the, all the races helping out the team. So we'll have Zacho on. We got Phil Nicoletti on in his usual spot, of course. Filthy Phil was not at Washugo, but he's got plenty to offer for sure. And Max Ancy will be on from the Twisted T Hep team. Oh, boy. Uh, thanks for listening again. And, uh, again, we'll have the Motorsport.com tweet at Talon segment. We will have the x brand goggle tear-offs. We'll have the Race Tech rant of the night. We've got a couple of my good friends in here as co-hosts. So uh, looking forward to talking to them. we got your Instagram questions, of course, coming up as well. And, uh, yeah, lots to get into, man. When it comes to the uh, Pulp Mix app, that'll be out Friday real soon, real soon, on a, out on a Friday, people. So make sure you grab that. Uh, thanks to the sponsors, sponsored deals on pulpamexshow.com uh, as well. we got affiliate programs with guys like Karcher and Grill Your Ass Off uh, and more. So please check that under sponsored deals on pulpamexshow.com. All the codes are there from Works Connection to OGO. To, uh, to Atlas, to Get, all the codes are there, and uh, so you can really check that out as well. Um, appreciate you guys doing those and using those codes, and things are going really good. So uh, excited to talk about the race tonight and excited to get into everything when it comes to uh, motocross. Fly Racing's 2022 line is out as well, so uh, we got one gentleman in here to, uh, to talk about that. Thanks to Motorsport.com, Fly Racing, Decal Works, Vortex Racing, Race Tech Suspension and Engines, Vertex Pistons, X-Brand Goggles, Michelin Star Cross 5, Maxima USA, Firepower Batteries and Chains, Pro Filter, Skosh, ORW, Works Connection, Atlas Neck Brace, FMF, Guts Racing, Get Data, OGO Power Sports, Art of Sport, MotorcycleIndustryJobs.com, WUSA, Ride Engineering, and Intense Cycles all on board with us tonight. As are you people, 702-586-7857. Give us a call, 702-586-PULP, if you want to uh, talk about Washugal or really anything. Uh, give us a call, and we'll try, to, uh, try our best to get in get you people in so check out my boat dude <laughs> all right let's get into our uh, co-host here first up from fly racing he's a two-time german supercross champion he's a two-time montreal supercross champion and uh he's now involved in heavily in fly racing it's jason thomas what's up jt not too much happy to be back i feel like i was here not too long ago but um with the 22 line coming out i kind of forced my way in here okay i, ne I needed to you, you, cut Kiefer off at the pass too you, so. you really did. I turned yours down. Let me know if it works okay, okay for good. you. Yep. And uh, also uh, here from uh, Kiefer Inc. Testing from Racer X, from Pulp MX, Family First, Chris Kiefer. What's up, buddy? How are you? It is great to be here in this new studio. Yes, this is the first show, the maiden show from the new studio. I hey. love popping cherries. Hey, this place is incredible. It's insane. I think from the time... Same I square footage as the old house. <laughs> JT's been here that. longer than me, but like yeah. from the first time in studio at the old den... To now, we're three in, yeah. right? Yeah, we're scaling upward quickly. Well, yeah, <laughs> quickly. well, you know Vert what? Vertical. Yeah. Talking <laughs> shit on riders on the internet. I mean, seems to work. Business, uh. business is booming. Right. Uh, no, listen, we had some problems at the old house. I didn't really want to move. Happy wife, happy life, and you know this place. If we're gonna move, we got an upgrade, right? This and place is great. So good for you. New studio will be, uh, we're going to have a curtain behind you mm -hmm. coming in soon, a black curtain to help the sound out a little bit. We have some more things to put on the walls. We've got the dirt bike. Marks is going to help me carry the dirt bike up here. So, uh, Kiefer, uh, 2022 Fly Racing is out, so we're going to talk about that tonight. I'm ready to talk about it. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, really? I I'm a gear guy. I don't want to blow fly. Yeah. That's a like, great fucking helmet. That is a really good helmet. That is a good helmet. So I'm uh, ready to talk. We're also, I believe, we're, uh, JT's going to announce the signing of an Aiden Kiefer to a multi-year <laughs> deal tonight. Uh, I think that that's already been done. Oh, so they worked it out. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get into first. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> get get his bro. family first. That was a good uh, one. Yeah. That's too early for that shit. That's too early. Uh, taking your calls uh, over there in the corner. He's way down there now. Uh, it is Talon Taylor. What's up, Talon? How are you? What's up? You guys stuck me all the way over oh, by you myself. Oh, should, you should have waited like three seconds and then answered so it like, would have yeah. got to you. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's up, man? How are you? Everything good? Good. Yeah. yeah. A little sore still from moving, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Mark's tits, Talon. They all came over. Oh, wow. 
they, yeah, they all ch- chime carried these desks. Oh, they so you had all your guys in, here. Oh, okay. You yeah. weren't even here, and all your guys are here. No, no, no. We I was here. Oh, okay, we, I we, thought you were in Washougal. No, no, we moved last week. So okay, the okay. first show, actually, the first show was the Fly Race and Moto 60 show on Thursday from here. So that popped it. That popped it. Moving, I hate the. I hate the. This is the first pulp show. Though. Moving is one of the worst things it, it, you could ever ask anybody to do. Horrible. I have yeah. told like some of my best friends, no, absolutely not. Gone. I'm out. I would. Ra- I'll give you money if Gone. you want to pay the movers. Like I'll chip <laughs> on the mover fee, but I'm not doing it. You know who yeah. your true friends are when you're moving. Yep. Well, um, I'm happy to give you money. Like yeah. if I can give you well, money instead of my time, I'm uh, in. Like, no I problem. feel like I didn't. I feel like the studio though. Like these guys work for me at the show. I feel like they. If any of them had said no way, I would have been bummed. Would you? Yeah. Okay. Just because, like, hey, man, I can't do this myself. Right. You know, I can't carry yeah, this but desk. What if I would have hired a mover to come over? What's like that? Collegehunks.com. Like, if I hired someone. Collegehunks.com. Like, what you know happened? what JT's doing. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> it's like they have all these college movers, like, during the summer. That's okay. big business for them. Oh. Is move, is I love beating my meat. Uh, exactly. Collegehunks.com. Directing the show over there, uh, holding things down, building the app, working on Mad Skills Motocross 3. Travis Marks. What's up, Marks? Oh, I tried. To, I tried to click the camera. I don't have a camera, so. Oh yeah. Luckily for all the viewers out there, I yeah, have no we're short today. one cable. One cable went we lost completely the cable. missing, yeah, and really so we. Mark has no camera tonight. Not really sure how so, that happens. Can we talk about your the, moving though? Like your packing. Uh let's do it later. But oh, I, we can bring it in gosh. for sure. Yeah, there was a there was a small incident. The a cable s- is gone because the ghost of Rocky is still here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Rocky yeah. probably ate that some bitch. R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> so uh, thanks, Marks, for the help with the move. Talon, thank you. Tits, yep, legendary, who may or may not listen. Thank you, Tits. <laughs> he pulled the early shift and then bailed. Yeah, he was done by what, like 10? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, he still helped. So. Did Tits have anything to say about the place? I think everybody likes it. Okay, but yeah. he, he didn't. He was over this morning performing some warranty work on the Taser. Okay. Yeah. So, right. um, But, yeah, so people stay tuned. The studio is going to get cooler. Uh, it's already awesome, and uh, it's great to have you guys here. Uh, so definitely want to talk about the 2022 line uh, and Wash Shugal as well. I've got some phone calls. Uh, and, of course, hey, before I get too far into this, Fly Racing Zone, uh, Bernard Kerr, downhill mountain bike guy, mm-hmm. but friend of the show. Remember, he was going to try to ride Anaheim. Yep. Uh, won the Red Bull Hardline for the third time. Okay. Congrats. He's a gnarly dude. Dude, all those guys are gnarly. It's so, insane. So much talent. Yeah. 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 It's I mean, he rides, he rides the wrong brand of bicycle, <laughs> okay. which I've reminded him many times. <laughs> but other than that, he's a three-time Red Bull Hardline champion. So, and he's a Fly Racing Zone. Bernard. 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 Yeah. yeah. So uh, congrats to him before we get too far. We are also giving away, in honor of Chase Sexton and J-Mart winning Washugal, they have one thing in common, those two guys. Do either one of you can name one thing in common that they have in common? J-Mart and A-Mart? J-Mart and Sexton. DNA? Oh. J-Mart and Sexton. Uh, uh, firepower chains. <laughs> no. Okay. 100% but they both, goggles? They both use... Uh, 100% goggles? No, he's got Oakley. Oh, Oakley. Sexton's, Sexton's Oakley. Sexton's Oakley, Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They both use Works Connection Pro Bullsh- Launch oh, devices yeah. on Damn. their motorcycles. Yeah. So I talked about this on the industry seating podcast yesterday. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just like how wow. he just sucks. You have a show. Yeah. Awesome. We yeah. talked about it last week. He got yeah. 20 minutes of free publicity <laughs> last week about his show. It's a Pulp Mex. You think it's you want to push yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. No. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> thanks to Works Connection, we are giving away a Pro Launch Start device. Hashtag Dark Side not eligible. Uh, to a lucky listener tonight. They both use this on their bikes. And if you know when Factory Honda's put it on, you know the thing works. Uh, they do not mess around. They do not mess around. No. The great Tim Ferry also helps Sexton with his starts. We'll, do- we'll dive into that tonight with him. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll talk more to him about his RPM that he told us, uh, this RPM limiter that, he, that they put in this week. So, Lars did that. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about that and more. But the Works Connection Pro Launch Start Device up for grabs. Contest at PulpaMexshow.com. We're just going to do a random winner. Contest at uh, You. This is the starting device you use. Yep. I use it as well for the World Vets. Worked God. well one start. <laughs> Worked well one start. Keep the show moving. Worked well one start. Okay. That that start was one of the worst no, no, no. executed you're thinking about the, I've ever seen. You're thinking about two I'm years sure ago. I'm sure we got, we got like five clips of that, I'm sure, somewhere. <laughs> you're thinking two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was I don't, it I don't want, unbelievable. I don't want to talk about it. Are we, we going move? this year? I mean, are we going? I mean, because obviously we're not going to race the 24 hours of Glen Helen that I offered it up. Yeah, to you. Uh, Talon wants to do it. Talon's in. For vet- I would be in if you guys do it, but I'm not like totally down on. You got on a that. bike? Not on my bike. Hey, you got a bike? Your bike. Uh-huh. You got a bike? 
Got a bike? Got a bike? <laughs> Got a bike? Uh, oh, by the way, friend Crank of the show. It, cranking it. Chris Betts. Dude. Home runs in two consecutive games and a game winner at that, a three-run shot. He, did, he threw his helmet off. So awesome. It's just great. Chris it, Betts. That's great. The hype level was so high. Was it a biscuit? Biscuit. Mon- Montgomery yeah, biscuits. Montgomery biscuits. God dang it. That's horrible. They, they, they lost their last series to the Trash Pandas. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Another team's called the Trash Pandas. <laughs> Trash Pandas. Yeah. What do these, these teams make up their names? Like, how do they get them? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Jesus. Do you think Betts was more hyped on the home run or more hyped on AC's? Last win. Oh, AC's last win. Yeah, yeah more, more so than oh, his home run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't give a shit about the home run. Right, AC. right. So, friend of the show, Chris Betts and Bernard Kerr doing great things out there. Um, so, Sexton wins. I really – we'll talk to Sexton about the win. There's, there's no doubt I want to get into that. But, to me, I want to talk about Ferrandez. So, with Kenny's bad day, he almost has a 50-point lead in this thing. And you look at uh, first moto, Millville was good, right? Second moto crashes three times or twice? Just twice. Second moto, Millville. Two times. Gets back to a fifth, right? right? Like, that's pretty hard to do. This week, first moto, he just really couldn't do anything. He didn't start up there. Kind of, you know, couldn't get in the flow. And then he holds off an all-time performance by Eli Tomac Jeez. and takes the win. Which, to me, so I'll start with you, JT. Like, that was – Ferrandez's 5-1 was – he didn't win, but it was damn impressive. And that's the kind of stuff where you're just like, yeah, he's going to win this championship because – he didn't go 5-5, five, five, and he didn't even get caught and passed by Eli Tomac. Like, he wicked it up and held Eli off, and Eli was like, dude, I was – Eli himself was like, I can't believe – you know, I was riding yeah. great. Um, that was a great ride by Dylan Ferrandez. Well, to me, yes, absolutely true. Great point. But to me, even more impressive, he's had two motos this whole season where he's been off the podium. Yeah. Just two, and those two motos were both a fifth. You do that, you're going to win the championship. I mean, it's just going to happen. Unless you, you're racing against Ricky Carmichael and he wins every moto or something stupid like that. But if you are – how many races have we had? 14 motos or something yeah, like that? Yeah, seven races, 14 motos. Yes. 12 out of 14 right. are on the podium and your worst is a fifth. Right. That's really well, difficult for anybody to deal with. Whenever I think of podium streaks, and one of the ones that comes to mind is Dino was off the podium one fucking time in his title year. Dino was off the podium one time. Really? In 24 Over, overall, motos. Overall. Or – Motos? One 24 moto? motos. Oh, shit. So 24. One yeah, 24. time. Really? He was off the podium. You sure? Yes. That's Apollo. impressive. Okay. What year did he win the championship? 11. All right. So what I think is even to piggyback on what you're saying, for me is when you have when you see a 5-1, those kind of scores, if you're looking at previous years, those are like 250 yes, well, scores. Yes, Shugo first moto. Oh, damn it. Two motos. Oh, okay. High point. 22. Second 20. moto. And Washugo first moto. Hmm. So 22 out of 24. Yeah, it's really impressive. Right. It's, it's looking at Dean now, it's hard to believe sometimes. Like, man, he was a national champion. Like, mm-hmm. that's how gnarly that guy is. When you watch him ride, like, he's gnarly. And he's struggling right now with this virus. Yeah, but like, yeah. Damn. No. But Tomac, yeah. the 5-1. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Francis, the 5-1. You don't see that in 450 class that much until this year. Like, before, it was pretty like 3-3, three, 2-4, three, 1-3. Now you see something like 5-1. A guy could go 8-1 at any time this year yeah. and be like, that's yeah. not shocking. Right. Well, okay. I mean, but Barsha, Barsha has only been on podium a couple times, and he just rode pretty much a great race at Millville, right, and dominated that one. Right. And then Sexton wins. So now we have another winner that Sexton hasn't really been on the podium this year. One, one time, two times? First, first moto of the year. First Paula, and that yeah, was it. Paula. And now he wins Washugo with a great ride. Like, but that's for your points. Both guys got starts. Right. Both guys just needed a start. And they, they can go fast enough, yep. you know, so that's the class where we're in. Yeah, like, it's just crazy to think, think like someone like Ferrandis, you get a fifth, you could be bummed out, and might, that might set a tone for your second moto, but he comes out and wins and holds off yeah. a Tomac that's up his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it, insane. I, that's why I want to start with Ferrandis. Like, he's 50, almost 50 up here. Like, he can – his mechanic can lead the rear wheel loose, and he's still got a moto lead. Right. Like, we're – this thing's – I mean, it's not over because Villeman went and did a photo shoot, you know, in the middle of the season. And, <laughs> and j- you have a bike problem. You have a bike problem anytime. I, but, but are you going to have two? Because you need two right now. Well, no. the crazy <laughs> thing is, is that he's already proven that he can come from the back. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, he's going to have to have catastrophe. I mean, full Multiple. Me- mechanical break, you know, <laughs> smoking, and it actually – his bike stops. Yeah. Uh, injury, something. Like, uh, so Fro won the title in 92 against LaRocco. Fro was – 50 or 60 points down. Mm-hmm. LaRocco's carburetor came off. LaRocco's shifter fell off. Like, that's the stuff that happened. Yeah. <laughs> that was his dad, though, working on his bike, well, right? Back yeah. In the day. But, but <laughs> yeah. It, um, so, I mean, props to for Sexton for winning and props to Eli's ride. That was great. And, but I, 
Ferrandis again. But he's just, been he's clearly been the best guy all season. Yep. It, that, I mean that's okay, what it comes so, down to. He, all right. He deserves the points. Here's he a has. good here's a good question for you. Osborne's ride last year, but Ferrandis is this year. Now it's not over, and we only had nine races last year to twelve. Kind of similar though. Somebody who we said could podium mm-hmm. or maybe win. And then they just consistently look great. Now Osborne wasn't as this consistent, but we had mud. We had a mutter. You know, I don't remember how I mean, he did. So I love Wacko, but I think Ferrandis has been a little bit more impressive. Um, there's been, it's just been a, a, right. a wider variety of races. You know, some of the races last year, like the Red Buds, we had two over the course of a weekend, and there was just all this weirdness yep. last season. Yep. Where I feel like Ferrandis has been up against a mostly healthy field, and mm-hmm. he's just clearly been the best guy. And yep. he's been able to beat Tomac when he's on his best day. Like that yep. second moto, that has not happened very often ever yeah, yeah. to Eli Tomac. Yeah. Like someone able to fight fire with fire. That just hasn't happened. And yes, Tomac was faster in that moto and he was coming. But for Ferrandis to wick the pace up, be able to withstand that, show the resiliency to not crack. Yeah. I'm trying to think of times I've seen it and I don't. I'm not coming up with much. Right, right. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's impressive for sure. Uh, Chris Kiefer tonight brought to you by the folks at Decal Works. Get, get those photos yet? I did. You did? Yeah. Oh. I sent them in. I haven't heard anything back, so oh, maybe well, I Sean, should try to Sean's resubmit. Sean's going to get on it then. Yeah. We'll get on it. Uh, decalmx.com, code PulpMX to get 20% off your custom graphics. Red Bull KTM Factory Rider uh, team, uh, Rockstar Energy Husky off-road team, uh, all use Decal Works, and, of course, a lot of our listeners have been using these guys as well. They lead the industry in quality and customer service by offering the best custom motocross graphics around officially licensed with all the oems the expert staff will go above and beyond to make sure your questions are answered quality service and knowledge and at decalmx.com get some graphics and use the code promo code pulpamex to get 20 percent off while you're at it and um again uh sexton osborne max anstey i can't still coming in so good for people who didn't hear the review <laughs> show max and his wife are very upset at me for something i said on this show mm-hmm. like two shows ago I went on a race tech rant about his wife's comments on Instagram, mm-hmm. and they're not happy with me. Now, Max reached out to me about coming on tonight, mm-hmm. so I said, sure, I'm uh, happy to do it. I tried to talk her, to her a little bit. She wasn't really having it. Max wasn't really having it, and we'll talk about that kind of incident and everything else. But as JT said, <laughs> he put the mad in Mad Max <laughs> at the race. <laughs> he really uh, did. When, when I heard this, I knew nothing about this till on the way up here, yeah. and I, I was like, I can't believe that he went that far out there and that pissed he, off because I never s- seen the guy that mad. He's a, yeah, he's generally speaking a right. very nice guy. This is what I do to people, I guess. I just, don't know. This is what I do. <laughs> this rage. Uh, but I'll stand by what I said. Again, I don't think she should ever be saying that publicly. I think both of you agree with me. You're in the industry yeah. as a as a former rider and a gear company and you as a test rider like you, you know, Here's, I, no matter how frustrated you are and JT at Husqvarna, your frustration level on a one to ten? It wasn't just there; it was it was lots of places. <laughs> Let's just go Husqvarna, though. Okay, right. Uh, <laughs> frustration extremely level extremely high, <laughs> extremely high. And and there was no social media back then, but th- you didn't go to Cycle News, Kit Palmer. You can't. Th- I mean, you can't. Right. I mean, they are right. paying you right. to be a representative for their team. Honestly, for me, I blamed myself because. I didn't follow the advice of other people, which was to <laughs> test the bike before, do all these things to make sure that I wasn't walking into the situation that I was. I trusted a few people that had ridden the bike, that it was going to be good, and a few things that they were planning to do, like use Pro Circuit, didn't come to fruition, which would have been a big change. So it was my yeah, fault. Yeah, I, I'm not going right. to go running around, especially under contract, and, and start blaming them. That's, yeah. I don't believe no, that's yeah. the right thing so to do. So we'll, we'll get to the bottom of the night. Yeah. yeah but. Where I'm at with it is like, it's not a woman's right thing. It's not. It, it was. If it was a dude or yeah. a chick, oh, I, I don't, I don't who care. It, is. it doesn't yeah. matter yeah. to me. Like if it, the dad, it Heather does, it, sees, yeah. Heather sees comments yeah. on some of my stuff, and she's like, "I'm gonna." I go, "No, you're not." Yeah. No, yep. you're not. Yep. Just back the fuck up. Pookie has also said, "I'm gonna. I'm gonna write this person." I'm like, "No, please don't." No. No. Nope. It doesn't yep. do no good. Right. So yep. I, that's where I'm at with yep. that. Uh, absolutely. Let's talk about J Martin a little bit here. Uh, I want to talk about Sexton, of course, the Tomac. Kenny Roxon's day, 2022 fly stuff as well, JT. Very exciting time for your company, so we're going to get into that. Yeah. Um, and, and everything that's new for you guys. New helmet, new kids line. New helmet? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they do over there at Fly. Hold on. Uh, what do you mean new helmet? Oh, you'll see. What do you mean I'll see? It's the formula, and mm-hmm. then you have a carbon composite. Yep. Right? That's not new. No. Nope. There's another one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's out? There's a catalog down on the table down there. Oh. I, I saw you looking at it. I did. I didn't see the helmet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what okay. they do over there, Fly. All right. Yeah, that's what they do. It's a good helmet. Yeah. 
I don't want to blow fly. Yeah. But like that is a really good helmet. <laughs> What's the over under? <laughs> we're gonna hear that tonight. Uh, I hope so many times. <laughs> okay, let's get some phone calls here before we get too far into this. Tyler's on four. Tyler, what's up? You want to talk to JT? I do. Um, so I want to go over. Is it rumored or is it like accepting that Mookie's going to Husqvarna? Stamp it. Yeah. It's accepting. Okay. So how does JT feel about that? <laughs> I'm good with it. Why? <laughs> Why? What? Wouldn't he be running seven and everybody on that team runs fly? Uh, we only sponsor the 250 team yeah. for gear. Uh, Zach goes on a, his own deal. So, like, Jason Anderson wears Alpine Stars and Dino wears O'Neill. And, uh, and, and I got that yeah. question about Tomac for going to Star. Again, the 450 That's guys 450 at Star deal. can yeah. do their own deals. They just right. – Thor happens to have Ferrandis and Pressinger, right. but they don't have yeah, to. Yeah, they, they uh, end up getting oh, a lot of Craig, the Thor guys by Craig, default. Right. But it is by default. Yeah. Well. And Craig was from the 250 deal, yeah. so that's so kind of who knows how that one. works, right? Yeah. But uh, no, the 450 guys at uh, Rockstar Husky and at Star Yamaha are free to do their own clothing deal. Whatever. That's the only way they could get them. Yeah, honestly, yeah. like there, there's not yeah. enough budget for those guys to sign 450 level so, guys. What I find time. interesting, Tyler, is Mookie is supposed to go to Baker's, the Baker Factory next year. That's what That'd I find fun. interesting. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Do you really think he's going like, to be there? I heard. Bring back uh, really bad memories to Alden. Yeah. I don't know, like, man. For everything Stu put him through. Listen, uh, Mookie's great. He was not in shape this year. He was in shape two years ago. He was Do not really in shape think this he year. Wasn't? He wasn't. He, he was not in shape. I thought really? he was okay. Not when you talk to those guys at SAR. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they would know better than yeah. me. But I didn't yeah. see him. I didn't watch him and go, man, he looks tired. I didn't. But I didn't did did you see how often. many mid race breaks he would take? Well. But here's the thing, <laughs> Swanee was in charge of him, so he was busting ass with Swanee. Yeah, I don't think he was doing as much. Hmm. When you talk to those guys, which I have, they're like, he was on shape. I talked to Swanee as at much as he was. Salt Lake. Was it after the finale? Do we have two Salt Lakes? We did, after the first one. Mm-hmm. And he only had good things to say about Mookie. He said the only issue they had was he felt like he pushed him a little bit too hard in the middle of the season and wore yeah. him down. Okay. So that's what I'm afraid right. of. Yeah. He's going to go to Alden. Right. Yeah. Epstein Bar is coming around the corner. <laughs> like. Uh, thanks, oh, Tyler. Boy. Thanks for the call. I think yeah. if you, Thank I, you I think with Mookie though and, and Alden, if you start it when you're supposed to start it, which is October, November, it, I think it's fine. Um, That's just a heavy load for guys that are not used to that, though, you know. But no one's used to it till you go there. I yeah, I, I know the first few weeks I'm talking to Coop when yeah. he went, it kills you. Oh, but it's you get better. Super gnarly, yeah, yeah. You get better. That's what boot um, camp is. But right. not everyone's built like right. Coop. But I would, I would love to see a guy like Mookie have to go through that and see what his true potential is. Uh, Dylan, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Steve? How you guys doing? Good. What's happening? Hey, uh, so you had brought up best walk-off homer the other day, which was pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, me and this guy on Twitter actually have a thing going on with Betts right now, trying to get some signed hats from him and stuff. And, uh, you know, he wanted to call in. He wanted us actually to call in and uh, <laughs> kind of bring up our early A1 season prediction. We're going to go AC at the top stat. Okay, shocking. Shocking. Betts is getting I out. I can see Betts. Yeah. Hey, man, all right, you call into the Pulp Show and you talk <laughs> about AC. <laughs> and I'll get you a hat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're not we're, you know, so, we're not, uh, not going to pander to Chris Betts and, and Adam on this show. We're, we don't do that. So. Uh, all right, all right. But, yeah, so anyways, but, you know, we're, we're making predictions here. Kind of need your help out here, Steve. Listen, I, what I need is I need a listener. I need a listener to go to a Biscuits game. Home or away, <laughs> and heckle bets and video it. And if you heckle bets on video at a biscuits game, I will stoke you with some prizes. So anybody listening, go to biscuits game and just ra- just rail on bets. Yeah, just, just, just you suck. You suck. Hey, twenty six. Yeah, you're never gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. jersey, asshole. Yeah, yeah. Biscuits suck. Butter your biscuit, bitch. Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, Betsy, I got your biscuit right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, if, if, if any listeners can do that, they will get a, a free T-shirt and a hat and whatever else we can give some fly racing stuff or whatever. Did so, you see those jerseys? Yeah. Did you see those jerseys they had on? Oh, uh, thanks, God. Dylan. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, man. you going to be at Hangtown, Steve? I'll be at Hangtown, bro. All right. We'll, 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 we'll wink at the plan right now, or uh, we'll make a plan at Hangtown for a, a heck of bets. That's too long. We need it soon. Yeah, no, we need, the, the biscuits are in midseason. We, yeah, need, yeah. we need it all. So, all right, buddy. Well, man, we gotta, I gotta Thank fly you. out there. Yeah, well, listen, right I, I, listen. Sorry, bro. Uh, how bad do you want a t-shirt and a hat? I mean, fly out there. <laughs> uh, all right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Ethan's on three. He's got a two-star question. Ethan, what's up, man? Hey, Steve, how's it going? Good. Uh, so, for the 2022 lineup, the 125, you know, it, it got the updates this year. Um, I don't know if Chris would know anything about this, but 
how does it actually fare against the KTM once we five? Like, are we going to see more development on the YZ? Have you heard anything about well, that? Why do you want to develop like something that's thing? perfect? Why do you want to develop a bike that's perfect? <laughs> I mean, come I know, on. Like, we're over here. We're big 125 guys over here, you know. I just want to know, like, hey, am I going to go out there and get this new 125? Or, you know, should we just stick to, you know, the 06 to 21, 125? Like, how's it fair? I haven't got a chance to ride it. Um, just talking to the Yamaha guys that, you know, away from the corporate environment, they said it, it is a little bit better, but, you know, that's coming from them. So for me, it, honestly, the, the, old, the older model was really good. Like Aiden had a YZ125, and I really liked it. And for me, I liked it a little bit more than the KTM just because it had a little bit more bottom end. So I actually like that aspect of the blue bike versus the orange bike. So... Um, if they got a little bit more mid to top end pull like the KTM, that's 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 even better. Nice. Hey, um, Steve, any um, rumors over there about a big four 250, a YP 300 in the in the works at all? No, I don't think so. Why do you want to mess up something that's perfect like that bike? They need to make a 354 show because they need to do. You think? Yeah. How come how come nobody has really caught on to that? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. So, all right. Thanks for the that, call, man. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, all right, uh, we got Phil Nicoletti coming up here. And, uh, oh, Marks, that's a good one. We're going to start a GoFundMe. Oh, shit. We're going to do Eli, Tomac, Superfan, Dylan. I got 100 bucks for it right now. We will now. fly Superfan, Tomac, Dylan, fan, whatever, to a Biscuits game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Could, could you imagine bets if Dylan oh my God. could heckle him at a Biscuits God. game? And he would know. He Tomac's the best. <laughs> Tomac's the best. <laughs> he AC even, sucks. You wouldn't even know what he looked like, but you could just tell by the voice. Yeah. He right? would go yeah. 0 for 4. Oh, he'd be and, so and rattled. Like, I mean, six inches from the nearest ball. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be fantastic. Uh, Devin, uh, you went to Washugo, and you have a hot take, Devin? <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks. Uh, yeah, still coming off the high of that weekend. That was super fun. Uh, first of all, uh, going back to the, this old argument, yeah, you got to be there, dude. Media, local, yokel, whatever. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, so uh, my hot take is, honestly, um, dude, I, I think J-Mart was actually, on the whole, like a little bit more gnarly than Tomac just all day. I mean, watching that, that second moto from Tomac was literally insane. But yeah. I'm telling you, there there was some stuff J-Mart was doing all day, dude. Like, he was coming off that ski jump faster than anybody, locking that be back wheel up and just leaning into that mm -hmm. rut. I mean, he did, I think in practice, he did like through the whoops. I'm pretty sure he did like three, four, five. Like it was huge, whatever it was. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's, was, he's great. You know, you wonder his wrist needs surgery. It hurts him. And then uh, like I noticed him launching off that single too. Yeah. Like he must be okay <laughs> or he's taking a Toradol or yeah. whatever, right? Like they got to be on Toradol or something. Yeah. There's no way. Cause that, he's, I, I've, I mean, he's done it. I've done it, and I haven't landed that far, and it hurts every time. Yeah. j Moss gnarly. Yeah. I mean, if you, I'm not going to argue that he – I don't know who's gnarlier, him or Tomac, but – I mean, Tomac's pace when he went to 213, yeah. the Sakamoto is hard, really hard to argue against. On a rougher but, track. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I thought j right. rode really well. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not – I don't even know if there's, like, an argument here. I was just thinking, like, yeah. man, that dude was gnarly the whole day from practice all yeah. the way to the end. Yeah, I think he's going to – got, He got second in the first moto, right? Third. Third. In the, see, yeah. I, for me, when you get third in the first moto, it kind of negates that of, like – But he was further being back. Being the gnarliest of yeah. the day. Yeah. You know, like, but he was further back. Like, he had to work up in the third. Yeah. That's okay. Um, all right. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Thank so you. Yeah. We have, Where was he at on the first lap? Was he far back? I don't think he was. We have uh, agreed that he's staying with Yamaha. Yes. So originally we thought. Came around fifth. Yeah. First up. So originally fine. when he was on the show, because he said, hey, I signed, but I can't say. So we thought he was yeah, going somewhere Yeah, that was weird. Else. Super weird. And then now we know that he's staying. I heard he was. I don't. I, I got it from a good source, but I mean, nobody. That, I mean, not somebody. Not, it's not like a, you know, okay. a stamp it source, but that's what I heard. Well, I feel like there would be rumors out there if he was going somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't right. heard anything. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, you're, you're probably right. Uh, Chris Kiefer on the show tonight brought to you by Decal Works and uh, JT brought to you by uh, Fly Racing, flyracing.com. And again, uh, the 2022 stuff is live on the site at motorsport.com. On the site, you can learn all about it. We're going to talk more about it uh, coming up this this uh, this show later. Matt, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, good. Um, so, Moto One 250s, uh, we had RJ in second, uh, second to. Uh, Cooper. Cooper, and he would, he would kind of close the gap up, and then it would expand out some more. And we've seen before he would push and try to get the win. He would end up going down. Second moto, we've got Cooper second to Mark uh, 
Kmart, and he does go down trying to push to get the win. Yeah. Uh, what uh, is this? RJ kind of realizing he needs to take it easy and if the wind's there, take it. But if he's in second, just take that since that's a good finish. Or Probably. It probably took a few weeks for RJ to be like, hey, man, I can't keep crashing. Dude, uh, <laughs> it is. It, I like RJ, and it is tough to right. be an RJ fan. Like, I'm waiting yeah. for it, right? They're showing yeah. him, and you're, yeah. I'm just waiting for the front end just to go. Yep. And it's just like, dude, just relax. You're in second. Two is as good as a one the right. first moto. Relax. Right. And then he stalls it. Yep. And I'm like, there it is. There it, it is. I'll take that. I'm an RJ <laughs> fan. I'm going to take a stall, you know? So Yeah. Um, hey, did you see Cooper's crash? I think I DM'd both yeah, of you on it. Yeah, uh, uh, it was good yeah. up the hill. Yeah. I don't know. Big one. What, 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 what do you do there? What, how does that – so you're off swap. the back. You you're swap. off the back. Swapped. You're just kind of manu- manualing. What happens is there's these square edges that you go up in the shadows, and you yeah. don't see them. And then mm-hmm. it's two laps to go, right? So you're kind of tired. He so was you're, full send, though, too. Right. He and was trying to catch J-Mart. And your upper body is loose. So what yeah. happened when I rewound it a couple times, his ass in swapped and then his front end knifed and dug and then it just spit him out. Yeah. So that was like. It's the same old story with Washugo is stuff catches you out because you don't see it. Yeah. There's shadows all the way up that hill. So a bump that you would normally brace for, yeah. you don't see it. So you don't react to it. Yeah. And then things get really out of control really fast because there. you haven't, you your body it, hasn't yeah. reacted at all to the movement. Uh, all right, Matt, anything else? Yeah, uh, one more question. Let's say that there's no mechanicals or no huge injuries or crashes for Ferrandis. What percentage would you give Ferrandis winning versus somebody else uh, taking the championship? What percentage would you give him? For this summer? Like this year? Yeah, for the outdoor championship. 95% for Ferrandis if he has no, yeah, I was no gonna mechanicals. Say 90. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it, this thing's over, dude. Yeah. Unless the disaster Unless he gets starts, hurt, yeah. it's over. He's already yeah. proven that. Has been and, he, he's yeah. passed every rider in the field multiple times. He's held off dudes. He, it, if Tomac was second, I would still say it's extremely unlikely that yeah. he catches him because Tomac's been too inconsistent. Right, right. You can't throw a nine up on the board and then have a great second moto and yeah. think that's going to get it done. Yep, yep. yep. Well, here's another so, thing, So, thanks, too. Matt. Thanks for the call, man. We mentioned yep. thanks. Dylan, but I think it's also important for Yamaha, man, because Yamaha has a bad rap, that bike at least had a bad rap coming in. I think in. it used to. I don't think it does anymore. Supercross? Uh, it still does. Really? Still does. Yeah. yeah. I get it in my mansion. And, and then Barsha won on really it, right? And then he, he basically said, it, it's the bike. That's why I'm mm-hmm. moving over. Um, Star came in, you know, quote, unquote, fixed the bike. And now, not a very good year Supercross, and he's winning outdoors. To me, that's a huge statement to the bike yeah, and I the agree. team. I, I would. Blue crew. Sorry. I would think that that negative reputation, if it's still out there, which I'm, I'm sure it's still out there, I think it's going to be gone very quickly. Yeah. The way things are going, and I deservedly think, so. I, I think They're they got to have. It. I think they got to have success in Supercross. They do. Yeah, I think they need it. Um, hey, so last week on Pulp Mex Fantasy, I know Kiefer, you're a big fantasy oh, guy. I can't wait for this. Uh, we had a Motorsport.com whole shot uh, game to play. We did it one round. Marks uh, did a great job of that, and so we had right, we had people pick for free. People had to pick all four whole shot guys, and Marks, uh, the best anybody did was two. Yeah, because we had two. we had. Uh, Cooper, okay. Webb, mm-hmm. Cooper, Justin Cooper, Cooper Webb. Mm-hmm. Help me out. It wasn't in that order, though. No. Uh, JT, who let got let the whole shot? It was weird. Uh, Cooper, Webb, Mumford. Justin. Sexton. Oh, Mumford. 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 It was Mumford, Sexton, Mumford. Cooper, and Webb. There we go. That's weird. That's a lot of Coopers and Webbs. Yeah. Yep. That, uh, how's, how's so so we, had, uh, we gave away the first prize. It was a $500 motorsport.com gift card. And uh, second prize was a fly racing helmet, and third prize was a pair of Lee at boots. And uh, the winners uh, will be contacting you via email on the motorsport.com whole shot contest on Pulp Mex Fantasy. Uh, first place, Yama Fitter. And he put his, his picks in uh, at Thursday at 9.42 a.m. This is how it, the, the tie break was time stamped. Second place was JT's left arm. Uh, congratulations <laughs> to JT's left arm. Third place, EL109. Uh, they all got their picks in early on Thursday, and they went with a combination of Cooper and Sexton. Um, yeah, everybody went with Cooper and Sexton, so they got the two of the four, and they got they got it early. So we'll be in touch, man. Thank you for playing. Uh, and speaking of uh, motorsport.com, uh, we bring in our, our weekly uh, call here on motorsport.com. He is the man, the myth, the legend, filthy Phil Micheletti. What's up, Phil? Hi, what's up, Steve? You know, just hanging out here with JT and Kiefer, you know? Aha, good crew tonight. Yeah, you know, we try. I mean, you can't get on these guys like – 
for money like you did with Millsaps, you know. But <laughs> uh, they they make enough money, I'm sure. Kiefer intersecting's crushing it nowadays. <laughs> oh, uh, would we have seen Phil in the Kiefer testing gear uh, at a race? If he had been uh, racing, do we know? If I, if I can get some of Kiefer's royalties that he's getting, for sure. <laughs> oh, so Phil would only do it. He's yeah. out. He's yeah, out. He's out. Yeah. Yeah. So you wouldn't just wear it to support your friend, Chris Kiefer? No, he's out. Fuck no. I make some money off that. <laughs> no, it does look sick, though. I, I like it. Yeah, I mean, hey, all white gear. Super yeah. sick. Yeah, it looked good. <laughs> super <not>. original. <laughs> It's it's a it's a harsh environment in here, Dude, Phil. We gotta have. Uh, listen, it looks clean. It I looks it looked good. good. I thought okay, it looked good. but but what? It's just all white. That's what I you mean. Think. There's yeah. still a process you have to go through to make it look good. You can't just put all white gear. I, I mean, I would have put a little bit of a dash of color in there somewhere, somewhere. I there get, is. There's red. I, where's the red? And the little logos. There's a check oh, mark. Jesus. Logos. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Subtle. Uh, that that gear is for the vet rider that rides at. Paula and doesn't really get roosted and wants to look fresh and clean. Right. You know what I mean? It's uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a different clientele. I don't think it's for the mid pack guy like myself or roosted. or supercross guy. Supercross guy, oh, yeah, yeah, which or is big exactly. key for testing guys or yeah. supercross guys. Supercross guys, yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Brought to you by Motorsport.com, and again, thanks to Scott and Bryce and all the guys at Motorsport. We saw them this weekend up there. Uh, and I think anything over 79 bucks is uh, free shipping uh, on your order. So they got a dedicated team of gearheads waiting to take your order. Go through the banner on pulpamex.com or pulpamexshow.com uh, to make an order, and it helps us out. Phil, so you probably heard us talk about the Yamaha. I was, that wasn't a question for you, but let's get your take on it. So the Yamaha does have a, a reputation out there, right? It's, it's heavy. It's fat. It's, you know what I mean? This is from their 2010 model. The reputation still is out there. And Ferrandis is making it look pretty good. AP made it look good. But they kind of need to have success in Supercross, I think, for all that to go away. Uh, yeah, I think so. But I think the Supercross, you know, season wasn't horrible. Like, they still mm. had some really good rides. You know, oh, I yeah. Think. Three guys in the uh, top ten. I mean, I thought AP yeah. really started to turn the tide there as far as reputation. Like, he was, he was making that bike look really good, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, Ferrandis had some killer rides coming from – the back of the pack and supercross it's not like i think if he would have started up front on the rides where he did come from way back in the pack in supercross he would have been i don't know i think he would have had a, quite a few more podiums than what he did i know? think the, the hard part of that is most people don't get to see any of that no like, we're no, there and no. we get to see it and we saw how fast he was going but on tv you would just never know right yeah yeah but he just yeah runs out of time where outdoors there's a lot more time a lot more wiggle room to get stuff done but yeah i don't know i think uh I think the look at the Supercross results, yeah, might not look good, but uh, you know, in overall from the past, I think uh, I think they did pretty damn good. So what, I think it's been a breakout year. Well, what about your bike? Like me and you have talked off air on about bikes and things, and you said you really like the Yamaha. You had to do some things to it to make it comfortable for you. But out of all the bikes you've been to, besides the factory Husqvarna, is this one of the better bikes for you? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, for me, I mean, <laughs> it's hard because I'm probably going to shoot myself in the foot. If I had a choice, I mean, for me, I like the Husky, right. but, um, I had to do some things to the Yamaha to kind of create it like the Husky. Like I had to make my, you know, uh, along my cell frame a little bit wider so I can grip the bike a little bit better. I run now or peg. So there are some things that are different, obviously, Star's bike isn't exactly a production Yamaha either. You know what I mean? So there's certain things that they have to change to make it uh, more comfortable for the guys. But as far as a uh, production bike, I, I, I really like it a lot better than some of the other production bikes that I have ridden. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. But I'd really like to know what Star has changed in the past compared to the factory Yamaha um to this one you know whether it's linkages races clamps whatever swing arms i mean who the hell knows but, i know uh, i know they were saying they got seven pounds out of it yeah, I, I yeah I, how 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 do they do that uh, i mean just from in the past with uh jgr and factory yamaha i mean we ran tie springs you know fork and shock and you know factory yamaha back then was you know keen on steel spring you know i mean that alone is a huge huge difference so yeah. i'm not saying that's where it all came from but uh could be a lot i mean and then if they ran spring fork versus air sport air fork that's a lot right. a lot of weight as well so i was i was noticed I that a lot of the oems want to run like 
uh, front disc guard and st stuff like that, which whatever, I, I get it, but just so mm -hmm. much extra weight when you're adding all those redundancies. Yeah, I mean, fork guards and skid plates and, yeah. you know, it's all, all, all a waste to me. <laughs> but, yeah, seven pounds, that's a yeah, lot. Yeah, skid I mean, that's plates. A whole, that's a whole tight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Phil went off on skid plates last week on the show. He yeah, hates skid yeah, plates. I hate them. Yeah, he hates skid yeah, plates. Yeah. It's, it's a pain in the ass to change your oil. Oh, like, right? Thank you. Pain <laughs> yeah. in the dick. I think you it's know, Supercross but, yeah. they serve a purpose, but that's about uh, it. Yeah, I mean, Supercross, but still, I mean, not to get away from it, but, uh, yeah, seven pounds is a lot, JG. I, I don't know. I mean, that's a whole tie kit, you know? Um, so it's kind of crazy to me. Yeah, I could understand if it was like, oh, yeah, this production bike, and then we went to a factory bike at seven pounds lighter. That's normal. But to start with a factory bike on the same bike and then get seven pounds lighter is like, what the hell were you guys doing last year then? Yeah, I, well, I don't know. Listen, Kiefer, uh, we rode the factory bike. Yeah, it was pretty good. And it was pretty, it was pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, wow. my, my production bike, I love it. And that factory bike was like a souped-up version of my yeah. production bike. All the characteristics of a production bike, just better. Factory bikes are fast. It's fast but easy to ride. Yeah, it was easy to yeah. ride. It wasn't super linear. It wasn't pulling my arms yeah. out at all. And I was I was on Paris, of course, but you know. Yeah. Anyway, I was expecting more from it, but it was actually really easy to ride. Yeah, it still now it still did. Now I will say this, it still did feel heavy, like a production bike. Yeah, like I didn't get on it and be like, oh man, I can notice the weight difference. There wasn't right. a whole lot of that. Do you think Tomac? Does he get any better? I think it's just the same Tomac. I don't think he gets better with the Yamaha move. I think it's sideways. Yeah, sideways. I, I, I think that Cowie team's really good. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying it's a sideways move. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm yeah. not like, hey, uh, Tomac's gonna be better or worse on the new no, on the Yamaha. No. I mean, look at AC. He's whole shotting everything, yeah. winning yeah. motos. Like yeah. I, I don't think there's. Uh, if you want to change, no problem. But you know, we look at a guy like Webb who went from Yamaha to KTM, mm -hmm. and then you know that didn't help Yamaha's reputation either, right? Yeah. Oh, look at yeah. Coop, right? Yeah. And then so. I mean, I, uh, the only thing with. You know, Eli, to me, outdoors, I really don't think it would be much of a difference. It's indoor, I think it will be. I know we said, yeah, the Yamaha's, you know, had an okay year, but it is a different chassis and different weight. So I'm curious to see in Supercross when it gets super technical. You have to turn down quite a bit. I mean, the Cowie is a bit more nimble than, mm -hmm. than the Yamaha. You know, I mean, there's, yeah, yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. So that would be the biggest change, I think. Uh, Phil Nicoletti here, brought to you by the folks at motorsport.com. And, again, thanks for playing the motorsport.com Pulp Mix uh, whole shot challenge. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that works for Eli. And, uh, and Phil, for you, uh, what would you think of Washugal, Sexton, and J-Mart? First of all, let's talk J-Mart. That's your buddy. Um, what? I don't know for buddies anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was waiting for you to say something. But, like, dude, he's impressive. He's impressive. Like, Cooper yeah. did throw it away to give him the overall. We get it. But – Dude, his wrist, I mean, he needs surgery on it, you know, um, and, and he, you know, he barely, he came on the show last week or the week before and said he barely can ride during the week, you know, uh, it's impressive. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, his middle performance to me was um, a pretty good stamp on what could, what could have been, mm -hmm. Um you know, I granted, yeah, it's his home race or whatever, but uh, yeah, this past weekend was another phenomenal deal, and you know, Cooper didn't give it to him, that second motor. They were going back and forth on lap times, and, um, yeah, it was super impressive. So, uh, I don't know, I've seen we I don't know who did the race strike thing, 61 points down, 10 motors to go or whatever. But, I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but, yeah. That's just why, that's why, again, trying to create yeah, fake yeah, hype. Yeah, you know. creating fluff. So, but, yeah, he was, uh, he was phenomenal. So, I don't know, he looks really good on the bike, and, um, yeah, so it, it's almost kind of like old Germa. So if he wins the – he's got five moto wins. The next guy has two so far. He's got two overalls. Nobody else has that many overalls. Mm -hmm. If J-Mark captures like a four to five more motos out of the ten left mm -hmm. and gets a couple more overalls, and at the end of the year, Phil, he's got the best stats in this class but obviously no title. Do you think he hangs his hat on that? Like is that – does that help you, you know, sleep at night or does that help you, you know, feel better? No. 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 Okay. No. No, because you just look at, I don't know. I mean, I know Jermo good enough to where it would be just like, oh, what could have been. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I think that all the other stuff, like, I don't I mean, even he won at Milda, like, it was a pretty phenomenal day. Like, I don't even think he really enjoys it. You right. know what I mean? It's right. kind of just like fist pump, a little rev, and it's just, all right, carry on to the next one. So, yeah. 
I just think after that championship mentality, you don't even take in the days that you really win like that, you know? Right, um, sure. I yeah. don't know. It could be different. I mean, he's he's got a different personality than most people, so mm-hmm. uh, he might enjoy it a little more than what I'm thinking, but I just think he's looking at uh, it's always the next race for him. So. Uh, what did you hear about uh, mm-hmm. um, Marchback's ride at Washougal? Uh, not not too dialed. First motor was okay. Second motor was good, and they got up to seventh, and then he had a tip over. Mm-hmm. So it uh, should have been a ten seven day, but he's actually he's going to get arm pump surgery. Uh, he's flying out tonight, so he's been struggling with it really bad. And um, does that still work? Does that work? Do we know whatever the new procedure is is working for guys? Really? And it's it's MotoGP, yeah. it's motocross. I don't know what they're doing differently, yeah. but you can see the results that guys are having. Hmm. Um, yeah, like I don't know a lot of a lot of top guy. I mean. Um, Zachos went and got it. Amarts went and got it. Jimmy D. I mean, uh, tons of people went and got it. So, uh, and it's a super quick surgery. You know, go in there. You know, get it done. You know, fly out the same day, and you know, two week recovery, week and a half. I don't know. It depends on your body response. But uh, he was getting to the point where it's just like he was making his shoulders even sore. So, uh, and he's been struggling with a lot uh, for a while, and he needed to get it fixed. And he was just like, he he had enough after this past weekend. So arm pump, dude, uh, the great mystery of life. But I know like two of the top five MotoGP guys have had it mid season this year, yeah. like twelve day turnaround, yeah. and yeah, they're right yeah. back. Yep, yeah. I mean it, it's su- it's super quick. So and is their performance um, better? Oh yeah, oh, okay, so it's, it's working for yes. them. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Wow. I mean, so everyone's built different. I mean, it all depends on your fashion, your forearms. You know, yeah. I mean, you can't. I don't know. I, I'm different. I, I don't hardly ever get arm pump, you know, but somebody else, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's just uh, body I theory. just, I know like Dowd got it, Renard got it back in the day, Roncada I think, got I it. I think the procedure's different. Yeah, now. yeah. But, oh, yeah. It's not even the same. Right. Like, if you'd see Caleb Russell, like, dude, it looks like he broke his radius and Ola, and they, like, fucking, I mean, they carved yeah. him up gnarly, but nowadays right. they just go into a little. Scope. You know, slits. Uh, yeah, yeah, scope, and it's just it's super. Do they simple. pull it out, or they just slit it so there's room to move? The fuck out of From I what I've know. heard, they, they, there's a sheathing around yep. your muscle, right. right? And they yeah. open that sheathing up so your muscle can expand. Yeah, because that's what mm-hmm. constricts. Right. But do everything. they pull it out, or do they just cut it? I think they just it. slice it. And I think it, yeah, I just yeah, I think yeah. it's just a layer to where they you know basically right. like they. They skin the skin inside. Right. I don't know, yeah. fashion, whatever. Really like like a like a sausage, like well, a, just like a exactly. sausage exactly. casing. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we yeah. got a question for JT about rider salaries, and this might be good for Phil too, because Phil can fill us in. Literally, uh, what's yeah. up, Austin? Hey, what's going on, boys? I know Phil loves talking about money. He so. he loves money and salaries. <laughs> out the door. What's the out the door price? Yeah, out the door. <laughs> um, man, I've always wondered. It's a bit off topic, but in the mid two thousands, the perception is that privateer riders were crushing it. Um, and I'm just kind of wondering, like, guys like JT, Tyler Evans, that kind of guy, were they making, like, deep six figures, like 150, 200? Or, oh, yeah. I mean, what, what did that look like? JT was Ty- making that. Okay. Tyler was kind of an anomaly because he he had this experience where he kind of blew up, like, his personality, and he, he did a good job of feeding into that. You needed a fur coat. <laughs> no, I did not. But he ended up making a ton of money. Um, so I don't think he was the typical example. But, but, but myself, he, but and, only for a little bit, where you yeah, made a couple money. Of years, you know, yeah. yeah but yeah. he made a lot. Yeah, like those years, he was making a lot. Uh, but like myself, a lot. I would bet he was making somewhere between five hundred and a million. What? Yeah. Wow, he had wow. some. He had some like rock star deals, and he had some really big money deals because. His star burned pretty bright for a couple of years. Um, he was doing pretty well. I, I mean, maybe a million's probably overstating it, but I wouldn't be shocked at 500. Hmm. Um, well, wow. He, so, so if you took Entignap and put him back then, he'd probably be crushing it. No, because Tyler was better than Adam, to be honest. Oh, Tyler of was. Course. Tyler was, dude, getting Tyler top was 10. Top sometimes. privateer. Yeah. He was getting fifth at Supercrosses. I don't know. Fifth. Yeah. Did he get a yeah, fifth? Yes. Yeah. You, you can't compare Entignap to. No. <laughs> One punch. No. <laughs> well, no, I, yeah, I, I, I no disrespect. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I mean, no, but I there was a lot of money in the series back then, to your point. Uh, you know, for one, we had two different points championships. There was a World Series and an AMA, and both of them paid points funds. Hmm. So each of them, like if I was, say, 12th in AMA and I was 7th, like three years in a row in the World one, that was 20000 between the two. There was Toyota top privateer money, which I got multiple times for the top three privateers, um, which was anywhere from, you know, 10 to 15, you know, the, the winner got 25. 
Um, you know, I, I remember um, Damon Huffman won it one year, and all in, I was talking to him about because I got third and he got first. It was like 140 grand worth of stuff he got, like a trailer, and he was going to sell it all. So there, there was just a ton of ways to make money. Contingency was really good. There was all, there were all these inside the industry sponsors paying money, but every the sport was really healthy. Then. Euro, Euro races then too. You had your Euro yeah, yeah, races, of course. Yeah. And that was, you know, that was obviously optional. Right. Um, but there, there was just a lot of money being dispersed because we hadn't gone through the financial crisis. Like there were all these catalysts that kind of once the sponsors pulled out it's been a struggle to kind of get them back into spending money. Cause I think they all got scared straight from that. Like a lot yeah. of companies almost closed the door. So they're like, yeah, we're not going to spend all that money um, anymore. I bet you a pike, you know, the, 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 the privateer pike, mm-hmm. he's probably making a couple hundred, you know, with his, when are we talking though? Uh, before he got his factory rides, like, like mm, he was spending a lot though. Was he? Yeah. I mean, okay. he didn't really start making a lot of money until he got that JGR fill in for outdoors. Yeah. That's when it kind of started. And then he, I mean, he was doing really well. Because I'm thinking every main that. event is eight grand a month, purse money. You know what I mean? He's got expenses, obviously, but I mean, he's, there's he's only making, there's only 17 super. I know, but then so. he was crushing it outdoors. Like uh, I'm like I don't know. Like, he wasn't making 200 grand right. before that. He was money. spending a lot. Okay, he was spending a lot. Um, but once he did make it to JGR, he was he right. did really well. Yeah. Hmm. Um. So there you go, Austin. But to yeah. answer answer his question, uh, yeah, if you were a privateer and you were getting making every main top 15s, top 10s every once in a while. You were making anywhere from 150 to 300, depending on how much Euro yeah. stuff you did and your deal and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, uh, That's so crazy. Plus, plus money was worth more back then because of inflation. So well, that, and, and, like, and I think, like again, Tyler was good, dude. Tyler Evans was really good. He was. Like, yeah. He was giving factory guys fits. At many races, yep. uh, uh, you know. So, um, Phil, do you remember Evans in the in the opening ceremonies? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> He's a legend. I mean, oh yeah. four, oh five, he was really good. Yeah. Like oh six, he let the money get to him. You could tell his work yeah. ethic went off the rails, and yeah. he's, but he was still making money off yeah. those oh four, oh five yeah. seasons. So there was probably a three or four year window where yeah. he was making really good money. Yeah. Hmm. So mm-hmm. thanks, Austin. Thanks, man. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, ORW, by the way, also on board with Carson Mumford, JT's favorite rider. Mumphy, well, grabbing what's, the whole what's the deal with Carson? I don't JT? know, dude. I don't know. It's I, no, it's him. Oh, okay. I don't know it's what the deal is. No. This is just Steve Boone. No, it's not. It is not Steve yeah, Boone. You want to know why? Because Scott, his dad, called me. Oh, on the oh way what do you know? And what? said, uh, because you pump this. I do not pump anything. I don't. I haven't words even in said there. a word, and you're just hammering me about Mumford. I have not said <laughs> one word. You hold on. You you you. Is JT talking shit about? No. Yeah. God, this dude. is what dude, uh, Scott Phil, says. Phil, He's like, this Steve is, is ridiculous. This is what Scott texts me on the way up here. Mumphy's dad. Yes. I know JT is going to rip Mumford's ass tonight, so I want you to know on some things. He had a big crash Tuesday, bruised his sternum and his shoulder. He had to get therapy, hasn't ridden. Do, so you, think tell I'm, do you think I'm telling Scott to text Kiefer? I'm no, not. I know Scott, what you do. You Scott, take one thing and you just no, ram it Scott home. Scott heard the review until, show. Scott heard the review show. I know, show. but that's, what, that's where it started. But I was also perplexed by your, <laughs> you not I, – I said, hey, Mumphy started – every time Mumphy started in the top ten, he's gotten top ten this year, right. which is true. Yeah. My point why, – Wait, why is Mumford's dad texting Key for this? I'm the middleman. I'm the middleman between because JT because you, and Steve. I take one statement, and then, and then Steve just twists and twists and twists and twists <laughs> that is until not, somehow man. at the end of it he thinks I, he's making it out like I hate somebody that I've never no, met. No, uh, it's never personal. It's not personal. It's not. It's not. You, you don't know but Mumford you do at all. This. You do this. You just you take, shit on it. You, you take shit it. Yeah, I, I, he just said, exactly. look at that crash. I, I said, I all I said, he said, he said, about. hold on, that crash uh, that took I everybody out of the It affected the results. That's all I said. Has he shit on RJ? Has JT ever shit on RJ? I don't think so. With all the crashes. Yeah. Sounds gay. Well, I said you got to stop crashing. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Okay, so then that's then <laughs> that's he's equal. He's he's an equal opportunity. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I said. Okay, he was going off about Mumford's ride, which great, okay. good, good job, top uh-huh. ten moto. All I said was, I think you at some point you have to factor in all those guys going down that yard sale of factory talent that was laying on the ground. Yeah, it has to have an effect. Right. Look at the guys that were laying there. Right. So <laughs> let's see more of it. And then we're on to something. That's okay. it. And then he just goes off uh, into a tent. No, I'm okay. telling you. You listen and you t- you report back, Kiefer, okay. on it. Because I thought it was rather harsh. It. And then Millsaps texts me. Millsaps is like, I know JT hates Mumford. Because you're just hammering but, me on the point until but, it, tw- it gets twisted. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> You're going, why do you hate Mumford? I'm like, I, I don't I even know. You what? Hate what do you hate Mumford. I never you, said, no. why do you hate Mumford? I mean, that part, I might have said that. 
<laughs> I might have said that. But in a joking manner. In a joking manner. But that's what happens. You, know, but you joke and you joke and you joke. Yeah. Exactly. Until people think that I like joke. have some sort of vendetta. When why would I care? Yeah. No, I, at all. I just feel like you should have said Mumphy rode well. I he did. did. And Welcome, I, JT, the Mumphy, uh, the Mumphy hater. Uh, How's it going there? Uh, uh, and he did the same thing with Troll Train over the years too. Where, see, like, more of it. More I just, of it right I always here. felt like he didn't Perfect give Troll example. Train. There's look. There's certain guys that guys don't like or the, the the cut of his jib. JT just doesn't like the cut of his jib. But whatever see, it is. <laughs> I think I don't know. awesome. What is like. For him to say there are certain <laughs> guys that people don't like, what are you talking about? I don't know, man, because Mills I know you is, don't know. I, don't I know, know that you don't know. I, I got it. I got it that you don't know. So we just want to get that out there. Mumphy had some problems before Wash Sugar, so don't shit on him tonight. Okay. ORW, big supporters of Carson Mumford, Cody Shock, and Phil, and March Banks. Mumphy gets a whole shot. Awesome, right? Yeah. First lap, he's tweeting me, <laughs> Mumphy. I did see like, that. I did that's, see that. That's what he does. But like, what? I didn't have anything to do with it. I had okay. nothing to do with you, anything. You tweeted me about the Leafs uh, when they got hey. kicked out by Montreal. You said something about. Oh, oh yeah, I'll that, never stop that. Well, that I'm sorry, that's the same thing. It's the same but sort the of Leafs, the jab, Leafs jab. Don't think you know. It's just, the, but, the Leafs don't think you hate them. But I didn't. Yeah. I just said Mumphy at Jason Thomas. Right. Exactly. Hey. And you don't think hey. you're contributing peck, to this. Peck, peck, peck. Can I just peck, get through peck, the ORW read? No. <laughs> off of Warehouse. No. <laughs> off of warehouse .com. Uh, Please check them out. Uh, check out the latest in truck, Jeep, Overland, UTV, and racing products. Big supporters of, uh, of uh, Mumphy. And uh, ORW's got two new locations opening up in Georgia and Arizona. So please check that out as well. Uh, they do a good job of those guys. And uh, they're a big part of Phil. Phil, they're going to get you in studio here. ORW is at some point. So oh, heck yeah. We're going to yeah, work on fun. that. And uh, please check it out. Use the code PulpMX at off offroadwarehouse.com to save with those guys. Uh, they're the place to go for all your truck and off-road accessories needs. Georgia, Arizona, Temecula, San Diego, Corona, Vegas, all of that. Uh, we have Sean online too, quickly. Uh, Sean, what's up, man? All right, real quick. Decal Works is presenting Chris Kiefer, correct? Yes, correct. Yes. Hey, Chris, just so we're on air, I never got that email, so we're going to have to resend it. I yep. just want to make sure that we get you hooked up. Okay, okay, so never got the email of Heather's boobs for the graphics. Boobs got are it. coming okay. your way. Somebody All right. else may have gotten it. <laughs> yep. So keep Someone it jacked the email away. <laughs> DecalMX.com. We're going to get you the photo. Kiefer can get his graphics. Yeah, yeah we can make this happen, All finally. Right. All right. So, All right. Thank, All right thanks, Sean. Yes, sir. All, All right. right. Thanks, buddy. How stoked. Yep. Uh, I think it's awesome. Hey, man. I didn't get no titties, so <laughs> I think you should resend those titties over. <laughs> get uh, those titties over real quick. We also quick. got a call for Phil here from Jonathan. Jonathan, what's up, man? What's your question for Phil? Hey, Phil, with all due respect, just looking at your results here as the late at oh, boy. Be well, hold on a second. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, with all due respect, he starts That's not with. starting out good. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jonathan. Let's hear, let's hear Mr. Jonathan. Mr. Nicoletti, with all due respect, sir, it just seems like the jig might be coming to an end here, and it might be time to... <laughs> about another career and i remember you <laughs> talking about potentially working in a prison setting and as somebody who's worked in that setting myself i think it would be perfect for you ultra conservative just getting to cuss out people all day are you still thinking about going that avenue uh it's it's a possibility uh, um actually i deferred it man it's two years ago so now my uh i'd actually have to retake the test so because i did it at the beginning of 2019 so uh it actually just expired last month which is uh, kind of a bummer, but it's yes, it's, st it's still a possibility. It's not something I would uh, want to do forever, but it was just for. Uh, um, you know who's a prison guard? Bobby Can Canari. Bobby, yeah, Bobby, Bobby K. And Bob, he is. Bobby's like at like the top. He, like he's in Albany, like crushing it. So uh, he handles like yeah. They make good money and they get great benefits, at least in California. Phil, are you mad that Jonathan said, with all due respect, looking at your results, you may want to. <laughs> <No. laughs> No, results this year were not good. But it's a hell of a uh, way to <laughs> start that conversation. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I respect it. You didn't don't, come at me too hot. Don't don't lose sleep over me. I'm like a last place D class guy. I, I no, no, you're, no. Listen, hey, life after motocross comes sooner or later, man. Yeah, so, that's these two guys um, in front of me. <laughs> yeah, it comes yeah. quick. <laughs> uh, couldn't, come, but, uh, couldn't come soon enough for me. Yeah, JT's last yeah. year was <laughs> not good. J JT, you want to ride? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate the time. All right, thank you. We got a call about Loretta's. I think Phil can chime in with this too. Uh, Zach, you're going to Loretta's. You want to know what to do, what to avoid? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm I'm actually calling from uh, upstate New York right now. Oh. Uh, getting getting pretty stoked for Unadilla, but I might be in the area uh, while Loretta's is going on, and I figure 
if I'm going to be that close, I may as well go. And, uh, I mean, it's, I think everybody in the room there and Phil on the phone, obviously is Ben, like what, what should I make sure I do? And what, <laughs> what should I make sure I don't do? All right. Kiefer, you start first. Uh, as far as riding purposes or just He's getting th- this experience? Oh, no, I, I'm going ju- just purely for, you know, just to watch and have a good time. Uh, what not to do. So what not to do is you need some kind of transportation there. So there's a shit ton of golf carts, right? So I would uh, I would uh, advise you to get one, if not rent one. That way you can cruise around. You can rent them? Um, yeah, they rent them there. Okay. Um, and then yeah, if you, you can. Take out a loan. Yeah, exactly. They're expensive. Um, <laughs> you gotta take out a loan, Phil said. <laughs> get the out the door price before you get that rental going too. Yeah. So uh, uh, try to stay away from the rear parking. Like there's a there's a parking um, area all the, almost all the way back by Loretta's area home, and if it rains, dude, it is a shit show. Mm-hmm. People are getting stuck. You won't be able to move. And then what happens is you got these kids in golf carts all over hell, right? And then they'll try to make. Uh, a pathway right near your rental car or your motorhome or the place you're staying and eventually that line just like in dirt bikes will get off 10 15 20 feet um just like jt and weimer uh doris is out there she'll <laughs> find oh, yeah. your ass and then what happens <laughs> is you'll hear your rental car your trailer will end up be in the path of the actual golf cart lane and then you have these golf carts running through your your pit so right. uh stay closer to the track if you can uh, otherwise, I mean, it's a fun time for the family, uh, dude. Uh, Phil, any advice for Zach? Uh, I mean, if you're going to go watch, look, look, look at the schedule, you know, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there might be certain classes at a certain time you want to see. Um, but if you go later in the week, beer tent starts hopping a little bit better toward the, toward the end of the week. Parents start getting fed up with their kids and want to go drink their sorrows away. So, um, <laughs> it is, it is free for yeah. spectators too. Which oh, it is, is pretty cool. It, it is? is free. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. Uh, J- JT, that was actually one of my major questions is because I'm on the internet and I-, I was expecting to have to pay for tickets just to enter the facility, but I can't even seem to find any. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh that's been a big sticking point for mixed sports is they, they don't, I don't think they publicize that enough. Uh, but I know Davey's been very proud of the fact that they've never charged spectators ever. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, well, Zach, yeah. well, I, I only, uh, I, got, I just have one more thing, I guess, uh, since I'm calling from upstate New York. I'm, I'm about an hour and a half away from Unadilla, where I live right now. And honestly, that's one of the, the best things we have going up here on, in, in New York. And I'm just wondering if, if you guys have any idea if Unadilla is here to stay for a long time or if it's possibly one of the, well, it's, one of the ones on the chopping block. I yeah I don't know I I, I think it stays. There's no plan. I know they revamp. You know they. I think they put some money into it a few years ago. And yeah, yeah I, I think there was some go. pressure to make right. the track better, but I think they've responded. It's unfortunate that the New York shithole all around there, including where oh. Phil is. But <laughs> oh, you know, boy. you know, but that's where <laughs> Phil lives. So yeah, because it's ba- as bad as Vegas for sure, dude. <laughs> uh, Phil, Phil, you <laughs> not live, where we're at. Yeah, bro. I was gonna not say where I'm at right man. now is pretty sweet. Yeah. Phil, you live right by where the original Woodstock concert took place, right? Yeah, yeah, two miles. How crazy is that? Two miles from the original Woodstock concert. Phil, were you conceived there? (laughs) (laughs) What's that? Were you conceived at Woodstock? (laughs) No, I wasn't, actually. Uh, Parents were too young, but... Thanks uh, thanks for the call, man. Thanks, Zach. Thank you, guys. Uh, Have a great night. Appreciate it. Uh, All right, before we let Phil go, let's bring in our our next guest. These two gentlemen go way back, way back in the day. Uh, Zach Osborne. What's up, Zacho? Uh, chilling, bro. I was texting Phil and he wasn't replying, and then now I know why. Yeah, he's on the show. He has a weekly call. We were really hoping, Zacho, that this call, this weekly call, would be, you know, like all, like he, Phil would just come back and crush it and everything would be great and he'd be top 10. And it went, it went completely sideways, Zacho, right from the start. And But Phil has to call in every week. Yeah, we're pretty much in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Zacho, how do you feel about probably not defending your title? <laughs> it's not looking good at this point, right? Poor <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Especially like to go every weekend and see my bike just sitting there. It's kind of depressing. Right. When was the 2022 photo shot of Zacho in the gear? Like when was that? Uh, I was wondering. When that. I was at club with Phil, actually. Well, oh. most uh, of them. Yeah. And then uh, some of the video was uh, at Alden's. Uh, it was a long, long time ago. Like okay. maybe... January, some of it we shot last year at some point. If we had not gotten any footage of you riding with the number one plate before you had to stop riding, I would have been very <laughs> angry 
and heartbroken. Yeah. There would have been a lot of emotions all coming You're, out right now at you. Well, there, you guys are the same <laughs> size, pretty close, right? They right. Uh, JT should have just suited up. And yeah. put I don't. I mean, it. the photo that we're running as one of the white ads right now, like, is like pretty awesome. Like whipped. I, I can't do that. I can't do what he's doing. Hey, that was a one taker. Hey. Matt Ware set hey. that up. And yeah, you almost killed him. Take. But it was <laughs> no. great. Who spiced that? Crop and rotate does wonders, JT. Well, it looks great. I'm, I'm very happy with how that photo came out. <laughs> Crop and That's why we used you know, it everywhere. I'm surprised he even knows that. Yeah. yeah. Good, good pull. Yeah. Phil also, one time on this show, I believe, uh, ranted about the Instagram bangers in the corner. Like, Phil was like, <laughs> you just speed it up. You look like an idiot. You know, you just <laughs> these fucking kids. Right, Phil? I'm with him. Oh, I'm with him on speaking that one. Speaking of that, hey, uh, Kiefer, because yeah. hey, I haven't talked to you since your kid blew me out on Instagram. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, I went fucker. in and gave him shit, dude. I go, hey. Better be uh, careful, dude. Phil's pissed. He's like, no, oh, are you serious? He's like, he's like, oh, should I tell, text him and tell him sorry? I go, no, dude. It's past that now. <laughs> I was going to light him up, but I felt too bad. So. That would have been great. You should have. Phil, Keith I would have been fine to. with that. Yeah, I yeah. told him. I go, yeah, yeah light him up. No, nah, yeah. no. Nah, I was going to light him up about the Loretta thing, and I know he's, you know, things are still salty. He, and Phil I, was I, like, should I? Should I jab him? Tell him he he couldn't even make Loretta's. I go, yeah, 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 do that. <laughs> you know, Ke- <laughs> did you hear the story about Kiefer going in at a regional or I don't know what or area, some was it a regional or area? It was an area. Kiefer going in and saying, "Hey, disqualify my kid. He's cutting the track." And the lady was like, "What?" what? <laughs> this Aiden was passing some dude like he got a crappy start. So you know, fifteen years old, they lose their mind. So he went in and kept using this line on the inside of the yellow markers, like on the inside of the track. Mm-hmm. And then I finally got pissed off, and I just went up to the sign-up lady. I'm like, excuse me. Um, hi, I'm, s- I'm, the s- I'm the dad of uh, Aiden Kiefer. Can you disqualify him? He's cutting the track. And she <laughs> looked at me like I was an alien. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Um, I wish Zach would have done the same thing, all well, his parents. But <clears throat> you couldn't really look what was inside of his motors as an amateur, so it was a little bit tougher. For <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Shots fired. <laughs> Dude, there, we ate dinner on Suzuki so many times that – yeah, uh, there was definitely plenty of looks into there. Well, listen, uh, <laughs> Phil, Zacho's dad is a drag racer. Yeah. So, like, oh, if anybody knows sure. about power, yeah, <laughs> putting power in a motor. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. one of the one of the best stories uh, from that. Phil is, uh, I don't know if you were there, but I think it was '04 at Whitney. I passed Nico on the uphill um, at Whitney, and obviously. Mm-hmm. I was a little thicker than the little little Nick was, <laughs> and uh, they came over, and uh, they they were like born stroke and a yeah. couple of other things, whatever. So uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, uh, was it Tuli? Yeah, Tuli or Joe, yeah. one of them. Right. And uh, they measured it up, and he said, you know, he hit the calculator, and he was like 104.7, and Al, Ooh. Al, my mechanic goes. Uh, Dang, you mean I left three tenths on the table and they were just like <laughs> brains exploding. <laughs> it was, it was amazing. Uh, so then you uh, get to keep that money, money, right? You get to keep that yeah. money? Yeah. Yeah, but it was only like I don't remember, like two hundred dollars yeah. of an item or something. Right, right. Whatever. That's back the in the amount day of money, when people were claiming the amount of money, stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. The amount of money these guys spent on protests through their amateur career was <laughs> mental. <laughs> Golly, I'd be a millionaire by now if I had that money. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. Oh. Um, uh, hey, Phil, we got before we let you go, we got a shout out uh, from Duran. Duran, what's up? You want to give Phil a shout out? Hey, Steve. Hey, gentlemen. Yes, sir. I wanted to uh, tell Phil listen, don't go to the prison industry. He needs to embrace the talents that he has here and hang out and uh, be the dude that he is that we really enjoy hearing from and help yep. your janky radio show and, and all the. The, I, uh, I agree. He can't content. be a prison guard. Look, Phil, move to SoCal. Yeah. Get a gear guy job. Oh my God! You know, <laughs> you can He's be living the, the, the high des. Live, yeah, yeah. Now live we're a, talking. Live in the des. Be a gear guy, Phil, and go to the races. Dude, I will walk into oncoming traffic <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. On the ninety-one. <laughs> Yeah, you know, exactly. just think about the, the the content of guys you'd be dealing with on a daily basis. And it's so much better to be in the motor industry. I'd love to. We need you so. I'd love Phil to be a goggle guy and then have the rider tell me like, "Hey, man, I didn't quite couldn't quite see like your goggle build wasn't oh, good." Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's no, that's one rep job I would not do. Not yeah. a chance would be a goggle guy. No, I nope. agree. I was one. It sucked. Oh, God, yeah, dude, stop. I, you can't call yourself a goggle guy, Steve. <laughs> what are you talking about? I built <laughs> goggles for riders. <laughs> 
Tickle didn't think you were a goggle guy. Yeah, (laughs) and that's why I quit. (laughs) Tickle drove me out of a goggle guy business after complaining a complete mud race where maybe three guys kept their goggles on. Tickle was mad that goggles didn't work, and it was a disaster. He meltdown. The nicest, the nicest guy in the in the paddock drove you away from being a goggle guy. I'm telling you, fucking tickle. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was. Why'd uh, you screw tickle over? Yeah, I <laughs> see. You're not gonna go. work. <laughs> yeah, jump on that. Listen, <laughs> I don't put these words in your mouth. Why Millsaps and Scott Mumford and everybody's <laughs> no, you calling. do. That's I don't. the problem. You do. I don't. I <laughs> you don't, don't do realize that. that you do, but you are. He jumps on the back. You're putting plate. the thought in their head. I don't understand what you – like, Mumphy rode well, and that's, that was the bottom. I don't know why you just So didn't. why are you tweeting me Mumphy when he pulls the whole shot? Yeah, check it out. Look <laughs> at Mumphy. Yeah. Check it out. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks, Duran. Thank you, man. Okay, thanks, guys. Good evening. Appreciate hey, it. Thank you. Phil, when are you getting hey, your surgery? Phil, I agree with uh, Duran. Yeah. Uh, give me Those dudes will Hunt mess team. you up in prison. Dude, yeah. Come on. They're, they're behind bars. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. Some of them. Uh, no, I'm going to go work for Husky. You, me, you, and Scuba be a trifecta. Be a good, good little, uh, good little deal. Sweet. Let's do it. Yeah. After you buy me my Super 73s. Dude, like, we just got off of them, and, like, yeah, well, you're just missing out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get Zach, because I, I know he's got, you know, these Super 73s, these little uh, electric bicycle thingies? They're pretty no. bad. They're like cruisers. No, they're I don't like know what beach that is. Cruisers, electric beach cruisers, basically. Yeah, they're they're badass, but they're they're, they're pretty expensive. I was going to get the cheaper one, and Zach's got the high end one. He's trying to force me. No, to buy I the high got the end middle one. of the road one. Um, oh, yeah, well, it's high end for me. Phil, do you want to buy some of Zach's skis? That's the, what the, I'm about to buy. Yeah, do you want no. those? The skis with no, the little no. <laughs> wheels. <on them? laughs> I'll pay money to see that. No. Nah, I like my elbows the way they look and stuff and my palms. I'm good. You seem like Jonas rollerblading. I haven't lost any skin. I, I did have two, uh, well, one decent tip over and then one small tip over. I want to see, <laughs> Phil, you go down to Claremont and you start yes. skiing with Zacho. Yes. Nah, I, I'd, be like, I'd be like the kid off Big Daddy chucking sticks in front of him. <laughs> any chance, Zacho, that Phil can come in the Baker's Factory next year to really, like, you know, re- rebound from this yes. year? Yeah. He needs it. I mean, let's do it. Let's go. Alvin doesn't like me. I'm not allowed in there. <laughs> yeah, Phil was actually, when Phil got the Rockstar ride, yeah. he was not allowed to go to, the, to the factory. I don't know, but it's great. Probably Steve's fault. Steve was probably also, peppering him. With- also, Monster Energy. <laughs> Phil, why do you hit Monster all Monster Energy <laughs> cut one athlete, and it was Phil two years oh, ago. Get over the Monster <laughs> one guy got thing. cut, and it was <laughs> Phil. Cut <laughs> Good thing I'm rock star through and through, baby. Uh, you know what? Phil is a little high des because he did spend some time up there at the Lessies. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have at some point, right? right? Yeah, good point, Osborne. You were up there too, uh, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why do you think I'm still depressed? <laughs> <laughs> I rode there when they used to have all the motos. Remember, like uh, 2008, something like oh, that. Oh yeah, they had yeah. everyone there. Yeah, everyone. was it? It was raining, or did they? What was yeah. the deal? Tony would just bring oh, everyone. It okay. was like, I mean, from Chad Reed to Josh Hill to, yeah. I mean, everybody. Soup, soupy? Was like, yes. oh. yeah. yeah, it was A1 without any fans. It was. Or, it's crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Fuck, and, man. and now Mumphy owns it, so JT can't go back there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need some backstory on this. I'm not a Twitter guy, so. No, Steve, Steve just, uh, he will take. JT talking shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Listen, no, you know our review show, Osborne, you listen to it now and then because you've, you've. Yeah. So. I haven't been as much this year, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. I, 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 More time than ever, and he's not. <laughs> I made mention how good Mumphy rode at Millville in second moto, and JT was like, wow, that crash certainly helped him out. And I'm like, yeah, but every time, you know, he was right there in the mix. And I mean, because. Brown went down, Styles yeah. went down, Jet Jet passed them anyways. Jet went down, RJ went down, R- Fry went RJ down. RJ went out, yeah. But he's beating Fry. Marchbanks went down. Yeah, so, Marchbanks went down. That's a, you know, I mean, that's a lot of talent. So oh, my only point was I wanted to see more because that's a lot of guys that went down in one crash. So back it up and then, like, yeah, that, I mean, I just didn't want to say we've turned a corner because I that's where no. the conversation was kind of going. It's like <clears throat> I'm with JT. I agree. Ooh. That race was boring as hell. How do you feel, Steve? You know, I, so now it's Phil shitting on Mumper, too? No, no. So he wrote good. He didn't, he didn't lose the lead pack that he was with. That's all I'm They're saying. Just a mass, 
there was just a massive gap behind him, but he stayed right with the lead pack or whoever he was yeah. All behind. I said was whenever Mumphy started in the top 10, he's finished there, and that was High Point, and it was Millville, second moto. Yeah. And I'm like, he's finished there. And JT was like, wow, he was helped greatly by that pack. And I'm like, well, you don't know what would have happened. I mean, RJ would have beat him for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Jet beat him. But Styles, and, and my point was like, he's – Styles is probably just around him, right? Styles has beat him March Banks? pretty much every moto. He's on a factory bike. Okay, we keep qualifying it if you need to, but you're saying they're right around each other. I'm <laughs> saying he's beat him. Like, the, so anyway, so point, now Scott Mumford's is, mad, Millsaps is mad. Right, and, because yeah. you won't let it go. <laughs> yeah. You won't let it go. All I'm saying is let's just keep the momentum going, and then we, we're on to something. Like one moto well, to me doesn't – He was pretty solid this weekend, right? He, he, 11th, 11th in the first moto? Or 10th? He went 11-11. He went 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, yeah. yeah. That's a solid weekend. It was better, yeah. I, I would like – like if I'm neutral analyzing it, I would like for him to stay with that pack when you get the whole shot. I mean, I, I know he had an injury or he whatever during laps, the week. Though, he right? left a few He left. did. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Great, right? But we all know that Mumford was a factory rider coming like really – a lot of hype, which he deserved. He was mm-hmm. really fast on factory equipment. I think he needs to stay with those guys that he's been groomed to be with, right? He needs to go with the March Bankses and those guys because the Styles Robertsons, those are the guys coming up as an amateur that he was in that group. You're well-paid, you're well-funded, you're well-resourced, so you got to go with them. That's it. Like, nothing other than that. What? Uh, it wasn't put like that. I, 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 it was good. That's a good. That's a, that's a, that's I'm a good. Some, I'm gonna do some research. Okay. Do some research. Okay. On this. Oh gonna do some gosh. research. Um. All right, Phil. We gotta let you go. We gotta talk to Zach. Hold on. Oh. I got. I got. Oh. I got. I want to ask Zach a question about Phil. Oh. If there's oh, one God. thing, Zach, that Phil could improve on, besides, I mean, he has an injury this year, but if there's one weakness that he could do or get better, what would it be? Well, Phil, like me, is kind of historically been a good starter and this year i was like at, at uh paula i was like well i'm gonna have to pass phil at some point because he's gonna get the whole shot yeah but mm-hmm. the starts are gone so he's gotta fix that yeah yeah went downhill this year bad well Se- with the shit sexton worked with timmy on his starts and look at this weekend so maybe mm-hmm. he called up red dog sexton didn't i mean sexton took eli out of the overall too but you know is what it is um, what, uh, Phil, any news on the surgery? Any update? Yeah, next week I go home. I got to go to Loretta's. And then Wednesday I go home. Why do you got to go to Loretta's? Right. Um, other sponsorship stuff. So. <laughs> For sure, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's wow. just getting sucked in so hard right now. It's well, awesome. went, yeah. Listen, motor, I, I did the whole motorsport deal for him. Yeah. Arranged everything, got him paid, and he no, wasn't the at. The motorsport deal is now washed. Okay. Why, what do you we, mean? We we are washed. I got you tickets. Now we're we're good. Oh, he gets me Yankee tickets. Now we're good. Oh, I mean, good. I appreciate it, Phil. I'm not saying, I, but you know, dude. <laughs> he got me four Yankee <laughs> tickets for the game. Yeah, I think I think that's good. Why didn't I'm, you get I'm, me any for the next game though? Uh she couldn't. She already allotted him somebody. Ah, damn it. Well, okay. how does he get Yankee tickets? His sister works for the New York Yankees. Oh, I didn't know. Did that. you throw in the ball thing? <laughs> no, I didn't. Thirty-six <laughs> miles an hour fastball. I don't want to talk Bring about the that. Bring the heater, uh, Steve Mathis. Oh, first pitch. He, he's going to be. He'll be sitting in the Yankee section with a fucking uh, Blue Jays shirt on. That is you that know? is a, a <laughs> night I will never ever. I don't want to talk about that. We're going to move on. I we're going to move ever. on. That was great. Okay. Thirty six miles. He comes in there hot. Just I did. I did. Strutting in there did. like, give me that. No, no, no. I just said, hey guys, I, let's do this. Like, let's see, yeah. who's, let's see what you got. Let's bring you know, it. Yeah, let's bring it. <laughs> How is it only thirty six miles an hour? I think it was not timed right or something. <laughs> no, I, I, think I the saw gun it. Didn't work. He's Heather, got a, was Heather on the? He's got a bad. He's got a bad rotator cuff. I know my truth. I know my truth. It was not an impressive. It wasn't, and I I tore my rotator cuff. In 1993, and I think it's still bothering me. Like he doesn't, <laughs> but he doesn't have a wind up. Like he went like chicken wing. It went from like here <laughs> yeah. to here. So it was all from the elbow to the yeah. Yes. Like there's I don't nothing talk behind about it. it. All right, we gotta go. Have you ever seen like 50 Cent or Britney Spears <laughs> throwing the first pitch out? That's what Probably. Hey, uh, <laughs> Doctor Fauci. Yeah, crushing it. Uh, I was I was gonna say that. Thanks, uh, <laughs> thanks, Phil. Thank you for coming on. All right, see you, boys. See uh, you, yeah. Off Road Warehouse yeah. Motorsport.com bringing you Phil. Sorry, Zacho, to fill the hog all your time here, but uh, oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, Zach Osborne brought to you by Vertex Pistons. Every two-stroke at KTM comes with a Vertex Piston two-stroke 
KTM and Husqvarna and gas cast comes with a Vertex piston in the engine from the factory. Two and four stroke pistons. If you want a deal, you're getting a top end kit. Uh, sales at pivotworks.com. Sales at pivotworks.com to uh, learn more about the folks at Vertex Pistons. All right, Zacho, uh, thanks for coming on. Hey, so you've been at the races. What's yep. uh, what what happened there? Did you, is this something where they came to you, you came to them? But what, what's it been like to be uh, you slash a, a rider coach over there? Um, actually, RJ was the one who came to me um, before Redbud, and um, you know I'm at home really just kind of grinding on therapy and doing dad stuff and uh i was like sure you know i'll go well then he won <laughs> so then it was like oh well, <laughs> i guess you're going to the rest of them so yeah um then it kind of turned into like hey can you help kind of look out for everyone so oh. now it's um everyone I, I don't really do as much stuff with dean because dean's you know an established guy and he has his his ways or whatever and um you know sometimes he asks me questions or whatever but mainly just kind of honing in on small details and just kind of helping the 250 guys nice. um it's, it's been you know there's been some hurdles and stuff and obviously it was really it's really cool to have some success and